Dragon on the Lake 2016 officially kicked off on the evening of Thursday, August 25th with a brand new event. Families were invited to come out for the first ever foam party in the Dragon Pub in downtown Lake Orion. The Dragon Pub is a large tent set up in the parking lot near the Orion Art Center with nearby vendors offering a variety of food and drink. The foam and music was provided by J. Sanborn Entertainment Company out of Bay City, Michigan. The company travels around the state and even to other states like New York to host foam parties. Uh, with all of our shows, a lot of the things we try to do is provide everybody with a really good environment, a really fun time. Uh, everybody comes out, they dance around in the foam, and, and uh, everybody has a blast. I like to see things the next day online, on Facebook and stuff, about how much fun people have, and uh, it's a lot of fun, especially with all the good food and stuff around, too. The foam party seemed to be a huge hit in downtown Lake Orion, with dozens of partygoers of all ages dancing in the sudsy mess. I thought it was super fun, and that I've never been to something like it, so yeah, it was really fun. Um, it was a lot of fun, there was a lot of energy, and yeah. Uh, just rolling around, <laughs> just trying to get as much foam as on, as on me as possible. Um, I thought it was really fun, and it was a lot of fun. The fun continued on Friday night with several activities taking place on the shores of Lake Orion. Dragon on the Lake wouldn't be possible without the generous contributions from local businesses. The Orion Art Center offered thanks to the event sponsors with food and beverages, as well as music provided by Sheila Landis and Rick Maddell, and costume characters from the Michigan Renaissance Festival mingled with attendees, and spectators enjoyed a thrilling jet ski show performed by local daredevils. We have a lot of generous sponsors that donate money for Dragon on the Lake. So the sponsors um, are able to come out here tonight and enjoy uh, food and um, drinks. And it's kind of a way of us saying thank you to them for their sponsorship for the event. As the sun set on the lake, several boats flipped the switch for the annual lighted boat parade organized by the Lake Orion Lake Association. Participation was down this year, but a half dozen boats went all out with the decorations. With the always popular fire-breathing dragon leading the way, the boats traveled around the lake to entertain spectators. Judges determined which of the boats were the best decorated, and cash prizes were awarded on Sunday, courtesy of Ray Seas and Lapeer. Coming in first place was Jason Steve and his crew for their spectacular Viking ship. Things kicked off on the morning of Saturday, August 27th, when Dragon Boat Race Director Rob Cavanaugh unveiled Lake Orion's own Dragon Boat. Normally, the Dragon Boats that you see during the races are rented. Race organizers decided to take steps toward purchasing a boat, raising over $12,000 in two years to buy this state-of-the-art Dragon Boat. This isn't going to be in the water anytime soon, right? No, uh, what we're doing is actually the Orion Art Center started this event the dragon on the lake and the dragon boat racing but we want the art center to focus on the arts here in northern Oakland county so we are establishing a uh, lake orion dragon boat association who will uh, the nonprofit will take over the responsibility the boat will be donated to the uh, lake orion dragon boat association uh, where then the protocols will be put in place on how to get the boat safely to and from the water and what the maintenance schedule will be on it. And also a rental fee that the teams, instead of buying their all individual boats, they can rent the boat, the paddles, the life jackets, everything, the differential GPS, collect the, you know, practice in the boat at their convenience on the weekends, and then uh, build a better team. The association still needs to raise funds for a trailer. Those who donated $100 were allowed to sign the hull. The long-term goal includes the purchase of additional boats and a boathouse in Greens Park. While that was going on, dozens of vendors lined up on the streets of downtown Lake Orion for the Made in the USA Arts and Crafts Fair. Visitors were able to shop for unique art pieces, including jewelry and even birdhouses. Merchants sold food and refreshments while artists demonstrated their skills in front of spectators, like these young, talented artists who took part in the Chalk Art Challenge on Broadway Street, north of Flint Street, hoping for a share of $500 in cash prizes. Unfortunately, a thunderstorm rolled in later that afternoon, forcing vendors to close up shop early. But the skies cleared up later in the evening, and the crowd returned to the Dragon Pub to enjoy a performance by the always popular 80s tribute band Square Pegs. 
The group, decked out in 80s attire, got the crowd dancing the classic tunes by Blondie, Cindy Lauper, Devo, and the Go-Go's, among others. What keeps bringing you back to drag it on the lake? Oh, it's the crowd and the people. It's so much fun. This is one of our favorite shows to do every year, and we're so happy to be asked back. That's awesome. What kind of environment do you try to create tonight? Anybody's welcome, and we just want people to have a good time and dance and be silly and have fun. Hopefully the crowd didn't stay up too late because most of them showed up at Greens Park early Sunday morning for the opening ceremony of the 7th Annual Dragon Boat Races. After race director Rob Cavanaugh welcomed those in attendance, the first three teams were on the water pretty quickly. A total of 22 teams took part in this year's race, with some teams coming from out of state and even Canada. After all 22 teams competed in two heats, their times were added together to determine the seating for the third heat. We had a chance to talk to some of the team captains after they returned to the dock. Uh, we're the Wonder Broads from Windsor, Essex County, Ontario. We've come to this festival since the beginning. We love to support it. They're doing so much good work here, not only for the sport, but for cancer survivors around in Michigan. So we uh, we really appreciate it and we're thrilled to be here. It's just so fun. It's, it's so much fun. The teamwork, the camaraderie, you know, kind of cheering each other on, giving tips and tricks and, you know, just, it's just fun. It's fun. fun. It's really cool. I met a great group of people. It's, it's fun. It's, it's neat that it's a community event. Um, a lot of us had friends and family stop by and join us and uh, just the atmosphere down here is really great. So this is a beautiful team of beautiful women who are all runners. Or walkers. With playmakers up in the Lansing area who decided to give Dragon Boat a try for the very first time this summer. They came together and practiced twice a week for 10 weeks and they learned to become pretty proficient paddlers. So we're just thrilled to be here. We've had a great fun day and uh, really excited for all the hard work paying off. Amazing day. Our uh, team's been practicing together for about 12 months and uh, we just really gelled today. We actually all met this morning for the first time ever. <laughs> I know these people, but this is the first time we've had, you know, this, we pulled this group together. We had so much fun. The event's amazing. Uh, great weather today. Well, we all went around uh, in between races and uh, drank some beer and eat some barbecue. We carved up. Uh, we made sure we got our energy up for the race and uh, just kept it together, kept it friendly, and just come out here and put all the effort in and work their butts off. Actually, this team was kind of put together um, of just a mishmash of people. I made some phone calls, I bagged, borrowed, and stole. So it's a great team, though, for our first year all together. I think we rock and road. <laughs> rock and road! Rock and road! Talk about the event, the atmosphere today. Oh my gosh, um, I'm on the board of directors for Orient Art Center, so I can't say enough about how great this event is. It means a lot to the Art Center. And it means a lot to the community. I love seeing all these people out here, it's wonderful. This event is by far my favorite event. We, uh, I was talking to Chris earlier, and he was thanking us for coming out for a second year in a row. And I told him I didn't. It was no. There was no choice because all of my crew came up to me and they're like, "Are you getting the dragon boat ready? Are you getting the dragon boat ready?" Because it is so much fun. We, they, like, we're going to be doing it every year. There's nothing better than this event. Another wonderful dragon on the lake. We had a great time participating. For us individually, the first run was a little slow, but after that, we were world class. It was a real fun time. And, uh, great to have this team. Talk about this team. Who makes up this team? Well, it's funny. We uh, we had a big turnover this year. So a lot of regulars from 51 North stepped up here, and boy, we're uh, we're all friends for life now. I think at this point, a lot of camaraderie is created very quickly in these boat races. It's a lot of fun. In the final race of the day, the three teams with the best times went head-to-head -to, -head to determine the 2016 Dragon Boat Race champion. In lane one, the Bernie Directive. In lane two, Your Ass is Dragon. And in lane three on the right, Dragon Ass. Couple boats going left and right, and now they're all centered. Focus down the finish line. 
focused on that finish line, and my goodness, it appears, it appears, if my eyes did not deceive me, that we had lane two. Your ass is it was a photo finish, and the race announcer wasn't even sure who won, but when the official times were finally posted, it was revealed that the Bernie Directive team, led by Brian Bernie, was crowned the 2016 champion. Following the race, 2016's Dragon on the Lake wound down at the Dragon Pub with an award ceremony. Jason Steeb and his crew were called up to accept the trophy for best entry in Friday's lighted boat parade. Orient Arts Center Board President Yolanda Garfield announced the winner of the Chalk Art Challenge. And the first prize for the adults uh, with an original poem is for Flesh and Bone, Catherine Purvin. Each Dragon Boat team had a drummer to keep the paddlers in sync. The award for best drummer went to Team Dragon Ass. The award for best dressed Dragon Boat team went to Team Stronger Together for their zombie motif. The award for best team spirit went to the enthusiastic team of Rock and Roll Dragons. And claiming the title of 2016 Dragon Boat Race Champion was first-time winner, the Bernie Directive. Describe the, the satisfaction of finally getting over that hump. Well, it, it was great, you know, because last year, yeah, there was a little bit of controversy, and uh, we just we were, got eked out, and this year we were determined to come back full force. Um, we, had a, we had a few upgrades, uh, but the majority of our team was still there, um, so we had that experience. Um, and then, you know, we had uh, a little bit of controversy this year just with the times, but they, they fixed it all out. They were very gracious um, and, and helped us out, you know, figuring out the times. So um, we got into that, those finals, and uh, we, we said, hey, man, we made a stake to get in here. we got to win. So we did. Uh, it was a really close race. Um, so we, we got, we just, we had the determination to get through at the very end. So it was, it was pretty what awesome. What do you say about the people that were on the boat with you today? Oh, well, it's, I mean, it's a lot of family and, and close friends. So, you know, again, we have that synergy and, um, you know, we're a very competitive family. Uh, we always want to come out on top. Um, so we did today. And so we're really happy about that. Of course, the Dragon Boat races, as well as all the events that took place over the course of four days, acted as a fundraiser for the Orion Arts Center. It was the first Dragon on the Lake event for Executive Director Laureen Porter, who was hired in December of 2015. It was almost a shock to watch how much effort and enthusiasm went into this festival. Um, it, the Dragon on the Lake has been around for a while. This is my first one. So it's like, who knew <laughs> how many people would work so diligently for both the Orient Art Center, because obviously we sponsor it, but at the same time, they were working for the community and it just brought so many people together, it was great. Yes, Orient Art Center, come take a class and we'll teach you how to throw play. The entire community came together to make Dragon on the Lake a success, including Orient Art Center board members, committee members, and sponsors. We asked event organizers to look back on the event. It was a fantastic event. I mean, we had uh, so many good teams come out. Um, we know there are some teams that have been battling for second place for several years. They've been pushing to get it to first, and it's made just a, a, a fun yet competitive community event. And really proud of the volunteers and all the paddlers that came out and donated their time and money to raise money for the Orient Arts Center and, and the charities here today.
You know, a lot of people um, think that they have to be a fine artist, and that's not what it's about. It's about bringing something of your creativity, and that's what Dragon on the Lake is about, is being creative, finding that in imagination and uh, maybe some dragons in there also. But that's really what I was happy about, is to see everybody come together. And that's what I love about Dragon on the Lake, and I think makes it a great community event is there's something for everybody whether it is you know the kids zone or a wrestling match or there is art to look at and dragon boat racing we try to really bring bring everybody that represents our whole community anything like this it's great to do it but we can't do it without of course the volunteers uh, the employees of the art center all the people from the community that pitch in and help out in so many different ways uh, the sponsors the vendors uh, even like the team at on tv I mean, we need all the pieces to come together to be able to tell the complete story. And we can't do the big things that we want to try and be able to do for the community without all the people that do pitch in. So the more volunteers, the more we can do. We appreciate everybody that helps, and thank you, sponsors. Thank you. The money raised during Dragon on the Lake helps the Art Center offer scholarships and classes throughout the year. For more information, visit orionartcenter.org or call 248-693-4986. In Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.